So today guys I want to talk to you about is the next Call of Duty so everyone knows that the next Call of Duty is just World War 2 and it's been confirmed the release date for the world reveal is tomorrow Wednesday at 10 a.m. US time I do not know what time that is in I, I don't know like if it's GM what like GMT or or just random shit like that you know and yeah everyone knows it's gonna be World War 2 we've seen the cover art the box cover and everything like that and there's not really much to say there's gonna be a private beta PS4 are going to get the probably the beta a week early and then there's gonna be another beta out for the Xbox one and PC players and of course P PS4 are going to get Everything a month early all the DLC and everything a month early So these are some of the things that I feel like That have to be in Call of Duty World War 2 for it to be a good game and you know I think they're kind of generic things, but I think some people well, the majority of people will probably agree with me, and I kind of hope you do. And if you don't, just tell me, and you know, we can we can have an argument, and I can kill you. So let's get into it, guys. <laughs> so the pace of the game, the game must have balanced streaks and medium-sized maps to take people back to the old classic Call of Duty pace. Like, we haven't had a classic pace Call of Duty since, what, uh, uh, Black Ops 2. Off the top of my head, it's Black Ops 2 anyway. Well, we've had, like, we've had Modern Warfare Remastered, but that's... Still, but, like, it's just the last three years we haven't had a classic Call of Duty, and I'm glad that we're getting one this year. Because if you've came up in the era of the jetpacks and everything, you will not know what the hell is going on when people, when we, when we go back and we go to boots on the ground, you will just be shitting because you won't be able to jump over bullets and fucking slide around corners. Now, to be honest, I think they should leave in sliding. Sliding is kind of good, to be honest. I, I like it. So, medium-sized maps... Like, take Black Ops 2, for example. The maps in that game were just so good. Like, they had the classic three-lane engagement. And they were all medium-sized maps. It didn't take too long to get to the other side of the map. And the kill streaks were just so good. But they weren't OP at the same time. Like, if you played Black Ops 2, you'll understand what I'm saying. And if you haven't, either go watch videos on it or, I don't know, watch a live stream for a couple of games and then you'll understand where I'm coming from. So, the next thing that needs to be in Call of Duty World War 2 is a game mode for competitive. So, the likes of League Play. So, for some people who only start recording in the last two or three years I'll explain what league play is for you so in black ops 2 there was a game mode called league play which was a competitive game mode where you had uh, a hard point s and search and destroy and capture the flag ctf it's the game mode that boosted the call of duty competitive scene into what you see it is as today and the last three titles of Call of Duty haven't done much for the competitive side of Call of Duty and I feel like Sledgehammer can do a league play sort of game mode and if they do it good then we could get the Call of Duty competitive scene even bigger and it was just so fun to play as well like if you had a four man and you were waiting ages for a six man or you just four of your friends were online at that time well three of your friends and include new so four of you were online and you didn't want to play a 6v6 or 8v8 ground war shit 
then you can just go into that there was kind of a chill part of it and then there was a really really competitive part of it which i played most of the time with myself uh jaffa cake baby or db gaming as he's known uh boats wang boats wang or boats inc as we all call them curly or oh lucky gonzo or crazy jordan i think it was and there were so many others as well like that we used to play with and it was just it was so fun playing because like we just have such good crack as well and it was just such good competitive because it, we were all kind of up top and the majority of us always got kind of platinum or not plat i think it was platinum platinum and then below platinum and man that, it was just so fun to play you know so the third is they need to have blood and gore in this game and i actually feel like that's what we're going to get in world war 2 in the call of duty world war 2 next game the campaign anyway they need to bring us back to the good old days of cod where the blood and gore was there and shit hit the fan and you could see when you threw a grenade their legs just blew off or their arm or some shit like that it was just so good and i know black ops 3 tried to bring it back with the traits or as they're called now the payloads i think they were called i think they were called in traits in black ops 2 with the likes of hive and the war machine like the hive would just eat the person alive could it could eat their legs or it could just eat their whole body and the war machine if you shot it and you could take off a person's leg or a person's arm or else even if direct impact the body would just blow up and it was just so fun to play with them score sheets of course the war machine is one that i always play with because i was fucking good at so the fourth one that needs to be in the next game the next card is balance weapons so I'm going to be quoting a lot of Black Ops 2 but it was just because that game was so good for example the Black Ops 2 there were an AN94, MSMC and M8A1 they were kind of as everyone known them as the OP weapons but you could easily use any other gun like the riot shield I know it's not a gun but still uh, the melee weapon, tomahawks uh, a vector, an MTAR, a light machine gun, a DSR, other AORs that were there as well. Like you could use anything and still do so so good with it. And that's what just made the game so good. And that's what they need to do. That's what Sledgehammer, if they want to make a good game, that's what they need to do. And they need to take a leaf out of Treyarch's Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game. I don't know why I said Call of Duty, but still. So the fifth and final one that they need is game chat or force game chat. Now in my opinion, I don't think they should have force game chat. Like I think that just ruins the game. Like if you want to go into a party on PS4 or Xbox One and like talk and you want to talk to your friends on party chat, but they should give us game chat and let us com let people communicate with each other in game and i'm kind of on the fence with force game chat yeah they need game chat because people want to either chat shit or just get random moments with randoms and look at the likes of uh, ky or speedy and jehovah witness nobody epic or oh, etc etc all of them they got all big big because they use game chat to make random funny videos because there's people out there that are just so funny and I know they were trying to take away bullying and all that, but like, just mute them, fuck them, st just to get rid of racial abuse, just fucking mute the cunts. That's all you have to do, and you don't have to hear them anymore. So, there are kind of just five things that I feel like, personally, they need to be in the game. I'll have a video coming out probably ooh, Thursday, maybe? Hopefully. I'll hope i should have a video out tomorrow either of the reveal trailer 
or given my views on the reveal trailer why I'm playing it in a browser. And yeah, that's it guys. I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.